In this week's Above the Terror Line, I would like to take a look at the recent plots against Israeli civilian and government targets around the world and discuss steps that the average person or company can take to protect themselves against similar potential threats. In the last two months, there's been a significant uptick in the number of thwarted plots and attempted attacks against Jewish and Israeli diplomatic targets. These plots have been recorded around the world including the February 13 plots against diplomatic vehicles in Tbilisi, Georgia and New Delhi, India. In January, Azerbaijan authorities thwarted a reported plot to kill the Israeli ambassador and rabbis in the country. The Israeli government also warned that tourists in Bulgaria may be targeted for attack, while Thailand has arrested several Iranian men who were reportedly planning to target Israeli citizens in Bangkok. In the past, Iranian IRGC operatives have also planned attacks inside the United States. It's clear that Israeli individuals and organizations are already being actively targeted by Iranian operatives or surrogates. Because of these threats, Jewish targets, especially synagogues, community centers, Jewish organizations, and high-profile Jewish individuals should be taking a variety of precautions in order to detect and thwart possible plots. There are three main steps that individuals and organizations can take to help reduce their vulnerability. First, individuals should step up their level of situational awareness, especially in areas that are part of their daily routine, such as their morning departure from their home to the workplace or school, where most people are creatures of habit and predictable. Attackers are most likely to target individuals while they're in predictable areas or while they're en route between known locations. If driving, vary your times of departures and routes of travel. Check your mirrors and stay off the cell phone. Any suspicious incidents should be reported to the police, especially the incidents that occur near any soft targets like homes, schools, and synagogues. These reports give law enforcement entities an opportunity to triangulate incidents so they can identify and locate the plotters. The kinds of behaviors you should be looking for are individuals taking notes, photography, people lurking, the same vehicle driving by repeatedly, or parked for long periods of time. Last, large soft targets should consider the use of trained surveillance detection teams where possible. Any possible attackers will need to conduct surveillance of the designated target, even if that surveillance is not long and detailed. The attackers are most vulnerable during this part of their planning and typically use less experienced operatives to conduct the pre-operational surveillance aspect of the attack cycle. What's the above the tear line aspect of this video? It is clear that Iranian elements are already actively targeting Israeli individuals and facilities. While the plots have been relatively unsuccessful to date, even unsophisticated attacks can be deadly. Israeli organizations, Jewish CEOs, and prominent individuals should increase their situational awareness and keep an eye out for suspicious persons and incidents.